We have a big challenge for you guys today. It's gonna be really Hello! Pop quiz, oh. host people! Okay. Hang, Hang on, on for the loop! Okay. I'm Ricky. And I'm Quizman. And I'm Jamie. And I'm Quizman. And today we're gonna turn this into a quiz game show. We're gonna play the comparison game. Wait, what's happening? We're talking about our opinions that we have of ourselves and how we compare ourselves to other people. That's right, whether or not it's online or at school or at home, everyone's playing the comparison game. Comparison can be dangerous. It makes us think that we're better than someone. Or less than. No one wins at the comparison game and that's why we're gonna play. Come on, let's play. I, so don't, there, I don't wanna play. There's not gonna be a winner? All right, guys, I got the cards out. Let's play the comparison game, but first, Let's go to a segment. It's right over there. Tricked you. It's over there. Look over there. No, it's actually over there. Where is it? So I've been at the zoo all day. And I'll be honest, I don't get it. Animals are cool, don't get me wrong, but I mean, cheetahs are fast, but they're not tall. You know, fish can swim really well, but they can't breathe air. Like if I was an animal, I'd want to be like everything, you know what I mean? Like I'd want a tall neck and claws. I mean like they say you're fast, but I bet hummingbirds get more done than you. You're slow. Try moving more like a cheetah. Cheetahs are fast. Beautiful fruit dough. It's a bit presumptuous. Have you seen the peacock? Swans do it better. You think you're sneaky? I've got earthworms in my backyard that hide better than you. Don't eat me. Hey, Fox, you're like a less impressive wolf. Get bigger. I mean, like, have you seen King Kong? You even work out, bro? Still not as big as a whale. Hey, Flamingo, who do you think would win in a fight? You or a giraffe? The money's on the giraffe. Hey, giraffe! Spots were out last year. The zebras got it right. Hey, duck! Stop embarrassing yourself! Well, you're not interesting! Get out of here! Idiot! Okay, so yeah, I'm an idiot, right? Like, it's ridiculous to expect, I don't know, an elephant to be an orangutan or a cat to be a dog. A cat is a cat because it's supposed to be a cat. It is just as ridiculous when you compare yourself to the person that got a better grade on the science test or, or your sister who might have better hair or your brother that got a car earlier than you did. It's just as ridiculous. And you know, you can't even compare yourself to yourself. The only person that can make judgments on who you are is the one that created you. God is the only one. He knows your purpose. He knows what you are created for. Stop playing the comparison game. No one wins. I care very little if I'm judged by you or by any human court. Indeed, I do not even judge myself. My conscience is clear, but that does not make me innocent. It is the Lord who judges me. We're gonna play the comparison game. I'll ask you a question and you tell me the answer. If you answer correctly, good for you. If you answer incorrectly, you get a little edible Play-Doh. Whatever edible Play-Doh you have by the end, you have to eat. All right, here we go. First question. Based on the opinion of others, which one is louder, strawberry or white? <laughs> uh, white. Was, uh, I was gonna say white. Uh, do I have to pick a nut? Her it doesn't matter, you guys are both correct, it's white. Oh, Second God. question, which one is best at baseball, music or the Mississippi River? <laughs> The Mississippi River. Music. Music is correct. Mississippi <laughs> River is incorrect. I'm so sorry. There you go. There's a little bit of Play-Doh for That's you. Third question. Which one is rich? A credit score of 768 or a half-empty box of Frosted Flakes? A half-empty box of Frosted Flakes. Final answer. I'm going to go with Ricky. Oh, you guys are both incorrect. Oh. It's not Frosted Flakes. It's that credit score. Fourth question. Which one is best dressed? The expansion of the universe or Elmer's glue? Expansion of the universe. Yes. Oh, you guys are both incorrect. Man, oh man, it's Elmer's glue. Best dressed, come on. Fifth question, which one is cooler? A 20 year old vacuum or a 40 watt light bulb? Ooh, uh, 20 year old vacuum. Vacuum. It's the light bulb, you guys. Oh, come on, put a little a more play on there. Possible. It's the comparison game. I think he's changing Sixth the answer. Sixth question, no, no, they're, they're here, it's no. correct. 
Sixth question, which one is nicer? The Empire State Building or an ice sculpture of two swans? Ice sculpture of two swans because it's icer. The other answer, whatever it was. Oh, Ricky was correct and you are incorrect, Jamie. That's a little more Play-Doh for you. Seventh question, which one's scarier? A cast iron skillet or the invention of the printing press? Cast iron skillet. Oh, invention of the printing press. It really terrified the industry. Printing press is correct. And a cast iron skillet is not that scary. Come on, think about it. Are you? About this. Yeah, you cook with things. All right, here we go. I don't understand the game. I feel like I feel like you're just giving me more Play-Doh no matter no what I say. No one wins at the comparison game. Which one is gross? 13 quarters or the key of D flat? Uh, 13 quarters because they've been in 13 or more hands. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's incorrect. It's the key of D flat. How? All right, here we go. Which one is perfect? Rye bread or the front seat of a Kia Sedona? <laughs> I don't think it's it matters. It's rye bread. The rye perfect. bread. You guys, you got it correct. Rye bread is perfect. Oh, Final cursed. question. Okay. This is the big one for all the Play-Doh. Here we go. I this was the, the This is the big one. Here we go. Which one isn't a McDonald's commercial or the morning of June 21st, 1958? Wait, which one isn't? Which one isn't a McDonald's commercial or the morning of June 21st, 1958? The morning of June 21st, 1958. A Give Mc me my Play-Doh. A McDonald's commercial. A McDonald's commercial is incorrect. Give that boy some Play-Doh. I oh. love the comparison game, but nobody wins. Um, so you were born and you were created blue. And blue, blue is fantastic. You loved blue for a while, because blue, who doesn't like it? It's blueberry cobblers and blue summer skies and blue ocean waves. I mean, blue is fantastic. Until that day you saw yellow. And yellow, I mean, everybody loves yellow, right? I mean, yellow is like, it's just happy. I mean, seriously, it's like, yellow's like <laughs> daisies, it's sunshine and freshly sharpened number two pencils, and it's baby chicks. I mean, who doesn't like yellow, right? It's so fantastic, and then you saw orange. And orange is warm, orange is like, fall leaves, and it's like basketball season, and orange is like pumpkins, and, and all those wonderful sunsets. I mean, orange is great. I love orange, and then it was good. Until you saw pink, and then there was pink. And you're like, well, pink, you know, I mean, seriously, like pink hair, and I don't care. Pink is like fantastic, I love pink, and who doesn't like pink, it's like, cherry trees blossoming in the springtime and it's like pink strawberry donuts with sprinkles on them and little girls in princess dresses it's pink and pink is fantastic and you just kind of take a little bit of somebody else a little bit of somebody else and maybe maybe one day somebody said to you you should just be more like your sister or, or your friend was like dude why don't you like seriously couldn't you just be a little bit more like this. Why don't you just go do this? Or maybe somebody said to you, you know what, get your head out of the clouds. Quit thinking you were created to do that. You'll never amount to anything. And you believed it. And you just kept taking what everybody said. Just took a little bit of yellow, a little bit of orange, a little bit of pink, it'd be okay. And you just one day woke up and you were Not you. You lost you along the way. You see, you gotta understand that you are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. You are special. You are loved. You are uniquely created in Christ. Be who God's created you to be. All right, guys, why don't you just clump those together and take a big bite out of it like an apple. Yeah, just like that. So you get kind of a yellow, blue, red mess there. You made mine into a flower. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, here we go. And three, two, one. Oh, it's a very healthy. Oh. Oh. oh, nice, look at All that. Right. That is uh, fun. That is super fun. You guys, if you guys aren't gonna share, I brought my own. 
Oh, uh, yep. And put that on our lip. Hey, it's salty. Oh, very salty. Yeah. This is that good. That's the best part of it, I think. <laughs> if I had some tortilla chips, I mean, that's where it's really at right there. I think I taste a hint of potato. Uh huh. Oh, very. Mm -hmm. A rosemary? What are you what is it? Rosemary. Rose rosemary. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't like this at all. I know, no one wins. <laughs> no one wins in the comparison game. I'll tell you that much. It's super salty. I think that's my favorite part of it. Uh the salt. That's like a pretzel without the pretzel. Yeah, it's just pure salt. It was awful. I've been missing out. Toddlers have it good. There's like a rainbow of throw up in my trash can. And we want the rest of this? Uh -huh. <clears throat> it's red and yellow and green. Which one's better, Play-Doh or Play-Doh? Or all that. Comparison is such a dangerous trap. It twists opinions into facts. It gets us to think about all the things that we do have or we don't have. It tries to get us to focus on the fact that maybe we're not as good as him or as pretty as her or spiritual as them. We can't let comparison tempt us into becoming something that we're not. That is the definition of being fake. Now, in his letter to the church in Corinth, Paul wrote this. He said, I care very little if I am judged by you or by any human court. Indeed, I don't even judge myself. My conscience is clear. But that doesn't make me innocent because it's the Lord who judges me. Now, Paul is a guy who knew a thing or two about the opinions that other people have about him. You see, before Paul became a Christian, he actually hunted, arrested, and killed Christians. Like, that was his job. Until one day, he had this radical encounter with Jesus that completely changed his life to the point that Paul eventually became a Christian. Now, here's the problem. All of the Christians were still terrified of Paul. And all of Paul's old friends, they didn't want to have anything to do with him because they thought he was a traitor. So many different people had different opinions about who Paul was, who he wasn't. And the important thing is, is that Paul never let their opinions define him. Instead, he chose to focus only on the opinion that God had of him. And what's cool is that led to Paul being able to help so many people learn about Jesus and to know that they are loved by God. Now, the question then becomes, what is God's opinion of you? Are you ready? God says that you are valuable. God says that you are loved. Yes, that's right, the creator of the universe. He loves you and he values you. When God looks at you, he sees someone special, he sees someone unique, and he sees someone amazing. Well, that was fun. If you guys aren't gonna eat the rest of this, I'll take it for lunch this week. I'll take a little yellow and blue. Oh. Take some of those, take some of that. All the Play-Doh for me. I'm the quiz man, goodbye. Take it from us, the comparison game is no fun. Yeah, we need you to be you. Remember, only God's opinion of you matters. And he thinks they're very valuable. So, enjoy, enjoy the, ride. the ride. I think they might be tasting play though. Oh, so much salt. For the next seven years. Oh, what is in this stuff? Salt. Mm -hmm. All the salt. Oil. Um, subscribing. Com like. Yeah, commenting. Uh, ringing the bell. Sorry, it did taste a little coppery. <laughs>